Thank you for joining me today for Soul Collage Storytime. I'm Anne Marie Bennett from Kaleidosoul.com, where we celebrate all things Soul Collage as created by our beloved founder, Sina Frost. Today I'm reading a short essay from my book, Into the Heart of Soul Collage. It's chapter 52 and it's called Good Mothering. When I was laid up in bed several years ago with bronchitis, I started watching Judging Amy reruns every day and immediately got hooked. If you're not familiar with the show, it's about a juvenile court judge, Amy, who's in her 30s and lives at home with her mother, Maxine, a social worker. Amy has a 10-year-old daughter named Lauren. While I found the courtroom scenes and the social work stories intriguing, I still wasn't quite sure why I was drawn to this show. A few of my inner voices were intent on judging me for this prime time obsession. Can't you find something better to do with your time? This is ridiculous, you're becoming a TV junkie. In spite of these inner voices, somewhere deep within me, I felt the need to keep watching. It, it felt like something more than just a television show. So I decided to trust the other inner voices who were nudging me to continue watching. I chose to trust my intuition and developed a wait and see attitude as I continued to watch episode after episode, season after season. While all of this was happening, I happened to do a soul collage reading where I asked a question of my deck and then drew four random cards. Interestingly enough, three of those four cards had something to do with the topic of mothering. As I continued with the reading, I discovered something wonderful. One of the cards that I had drawn was my divine mother card. And this is what she said to me as part of this reading. Truly deep, good mothering is not something you received, although your mom's intentions were good. You are now struggling with the process of inner mothering. I can help you with this. Watching Judging Amy is helping you too. Don't brush it aside as just another television show. You're receiving wisdom and insight from watching Maxine with Amy and Amy with Lauren. Embrace what you're learning there. Be glad of it. Be grateful as well. I was completely startled to see these words flow from my heart, from my hand to the paper. Everything became clear to me as soon as I wrote those words, crystal clear. From then on, whenever I watched the show, I had a focus and the lessons I learned about what it means to lovingly mother myself came faster than I could write them down. As a result of these insights, I pulled my inner good mother committee card out from my deck and added an image of Amy and Maxine. Amy was played by Amy Brenneman and Maxine was played by Titan Daly. So I affixed this new image in the middle of my inner good mother card to remind me of what I'd learned. <clears throat> Whenever this card appears in a reading, I am instantly reminded of the mothering lessons that I learned from watching this drama so many years ago. I love telling this story about myself because it's a clear reminder of how I should always trust my intuition. I've also learned not to judge myself for wherever my soul is leading me, even if it's guiding me to watch television. My soul truly does know what will serve me best. All I have to do is listen and follow. Time for reflection. Do you have a soul collage card for the part of you who trusts your deepest intuition? If not, be on the lookout for images that speak this truth to you. Take a look at the television shows you're inexplicably drawn to. Is there one that brings you pleasure but you resist watching? Try for one day to set aside the critical inner voices that might be telling you to stop. Notice what inner voices are watching you to urge the show, watch the show. Trust these voices. Give yourself permission to watch it as much as you like. Be open as the weeks and months go by for the lessons that are winging their way to you on the stories that the show is telling. 
Thank you for joining me today. This is Anne Marie Bennett signing off from another Soul Collage Storytime. This story was from Into the Heart of Soul Collage. <laughs>